Hello, welcome back. Let's consider a simple scenario. In this scenario, we are going to the index phase, which is localhost slash module, and then we are going to log in, and then we are going to give the user ID and password, and then we are going to log out. So this is three-step process which we want to record. And I think we have already recorded this step multiple times. And what I'm showing you here is a recording of the using virtual user generator. And I have used URL mode recording to record it. So that's why you are seeing all this direct URLs. This step, we are going to the index page. So, so down here, we are going to the login page. And then we are giving the user ID and password. The teacher one is the user ID and password is welcome one and we are submitting this and then we are logging out okay and if I run this thing right now this should this would probably run properly and give us the result so let's see that all right so the script has passed and if you go to the test result and then if you see the steps so this is the index page and here somewhere this is a login page and then here I'm giving teacher teacher one and uh, welcome on as password so so when I submit I'm logged in as teacher one then I am logging out and that's why I'm seeing here you are not logged in anymore this script is running fine like let's go to this action and change the uh, the, the username as teacher one one so what I'm saying is that if I log in if I'm trying to log in as teacher one one and password as welcome one then if I say login it's not allow me to log in okay instead it's going to give me the login page to enter the password again and user ID again because there is no user ID called teacher one one in the system all right so that means I'm not able to go to the home page that means after logged in so when I used to go to this is the course page right however if I do the same thing here, if I give the wrong user ID and password, I am not allowed to go to the next page. And since I am not able to go to the next page, I cannot log out. Okay, so that means if I run this script right now with Twitter as with the value as teacher one one, then I expect this script to fail. Okay, so let's run and see what's going on. When we run the script, we are seeing that the script is passed okay and if the script is passed let's go and see the summary and what's going on so go to test result so now so this is a new test result and it is saying that um, you know everything just went well and let's go to check what's going on so we are going to this page this is correct and whenever we are going to this login page this is where you are giving the username as teacher one one let's say submit data so it is actually whenever I'm putting the teacher 11 one, one, then it is not able to log in because we know that there is no teacher 11 one, one here all right so essentially what we could have done we could have we could have make that the test fail here because I'm not able to log in okay however the script went ahead and complete all the steps and if you see the script point of view because this is a URL mode recording and it is it's a, basically it's a DOM script basically you are saying that go to this URL okay you can go to this URL but it's only that it's not going to going to do whatever it's supposed to do but you can definitely go to this go to this URL so that is what is doing basically you are you are saying the virtual user generator that go to this 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 um, this page but actually if you if you run this thing in the HTML mode recording then it would it would it would have been generated a script that is context sensitive that means if that understood that there is no logout there in the previous in, in, the, in the previous step then it will it would have made make it fail however we can use certain things to make this script fail programmatically so that is the issue here in the script to solve this issue what we can do after we do web submit data right we can put some check that whenever you get this response back check that there is a user called teacher11 if you do not find teacher11 then you error out okay so that is what I'm going to show you here so let's go and create a new script add new script and let's say this is the 
and let's say give the give a script called content check and it's web HTML let's create it and record and start recording okay so this uploading bar says that it is it is start recording now and then I'm going to go to login and I want to give teacher one password will come on and then it's login so here this is a trick that I'm going to do I will highlight this one which I like to see teacher one then if you see in the floating bar there there is something called insert text check so let's click on that okay so the moment I do that insert check you see there's some events being recorded and we'll see what it got what what got recorded you know when you generate the script and now let's say log out okay so the script is ready and I'll stop the recording so it's now generating your view, view user script okay and it's a correlate so this is a script so this is where we log in and so this is where this is where you're submitting so before we submitting we have added a new function that is called web reg find and what is trying to find it is trying to find a text called teacher one okay so now if I run this program with a, a user with, with, a, with a value teacher one one that means if I give teacher one one then I won't find a text called teacher one since I do not find a text called teacher one then this script will fail so let's try to run this script right now and see what's going on okay so so let's look at the uh, log file so basically it's saying that the test is failing so essentially what we have done you have added a text checkpoint and that text checkpoint added just to check like you know whenever we are browsing we just want to ensure that you know that if that you know whatever I'm looking like say for example if I add a checkpoint here that I want I am expecting available courses the moment I I go to this local host slash module I expect available courses if the available courses is not there then just fail the script so that is what we did actually so this is what is called content checking okay so we check the content and we understand that if something wrong then we want to make it fail so this is how you will solve the problem that that we come across that means now if I put my content check at proper places so then I can ensure at runtime if the script is actually passing or not okay and the next video we are going to discuss about the internals of WebRage find and we'll understand a little bit more about content checking thank you